agree with that feel that you choose. So this is not matter that what society wants. They are not. Uh, uh, they are uh, never be with you in the hardest time. So why they? Why you give them chance to uh, to talks on uh, talk uh, on you and uh, give to them that uh, they allow you allow them to uh, talk uh, talk on your life they have no any uh, they have no any uh, permission to interfere in your life it is your life and you will do uh, you will live it uh, by your uh, by your uh, ideas uh, promote your ideas not the society ideas don't don't care about the what society uh, what society wants from you just do whatever you want and whatever your heart uh, desires so this is all of my, this is all of my opinion uh, that is all for now thank you all right messisha that's nice by the way well today's topic we have got new people here danish imran is here dr sadaf is here and amna sheikh i think it's for the first for the first time you are attending this kind of gym class i held it every day um people join it from around the world and sometimes we do have very few people but our conversation go brilliant like we go in depth and discuss things so today's topic we are having is do whatever you love um if you want to talk on this topic please you can contribute into discussion yeah who wants to talk about it i would try to conclude at the end um we have got time left now if any one of you wants to begin to talk do what you love then you can please um i would ask that danish imran to talk about it um danish are you ready to talk on it do what you love i hope you could create some uh, background knowledge after listening to isha let me just give you the picture um sometimes we do we start doing deliberately or without any purpose that our society wants us to do our parents wants us to do our teachers wants us to do and we start doing it and we lead our life in a way that that's not important that that we are not mean to do it how can we stop ourselves doing things that people want or society want and lead or do that actually uh that you want so um anybody please mr okta mr okta would you like to talk about it you can unmute yourself and talk on it actually i've got few students and they keep talking uh but they are just absent today they are not here they have got some network issue so they are not here with us otherwise they would keep on talking and you would be listening to them well um yashika today the topic is um do what you love sometimes we do things that that's not what we actually want that's actually what people want us to do that's what society wants us to do how can we stop leading our life into something people said us to do yashika yeah would you like to talk so... about it Yeah. yeah so the question is how can we like move into a world where people want us to do something else and we want to do something we love right mm -hmm. yeah yeah so i think um if i talk about my own experience mm -hmm. um sometimes we have to mix what we love and what others expect of us because when we live with others like our families um they expect something from us and that is not wrong um like our parents and sometimes their demands and 
the things that we love don't match so <clears throat> i think we can either understand what they really want do they want us to grow or do they just want to impose things on us and uh, we should like or what they want is uh, to just make make us happy and um, let us do whatever we like so we must first be very clear about it that whether the uh, persons we are living with are actually stopping us from doing what we love or um they just want us to be happy and safe and secure and they do not understand our idea so if they want us to stop doing that whatever we are doing and they do not understand our idea but they want us to be happy so we must uh, reassure them that whatever we want to do we can you know eliminate their fears also like if they are uh, fearful about what will happen what will happen to our future or anything else we can make, we can you know assure them that okay it will be fine whatever i'm doing it is like that and that and if there is no way right if the thing i love or we love takes time to happen we can just you know to keep them happy we can choose a way where it can just you know later merge with whatever thing we want to do like if i give my own example i can choose a government job and then i can pursue whatever i want to pursue so i like so many different things and if i make it if i make what i love as my passion it will take time so i would rather opt government job as my uh, first option then i will just go for whatever i love to do and make it as my passion and it also it will give me a base and you know clarity of mind and freedom of mind also and if i talk about the things that i love doing for my past time there are so many so we can just not be worried about what others will think or if i don't like to um, you know talk about with many people or like that there are people who like you know my earlier friends who would <clears throat> have problem with that but that is okay if if th- this is my nature then you know we should not care about the world what they will think like uh, i read from where that be yourself the world will adjust so it's okay to be yourself and uh, yeah so this is from my side all right you ended so well like be yourself yeah thanks and do not be someone where world adjusts to you yeah like world world tries to fix you somewhere like you, where you don't actually deserve to be yeah some people are really creative they are very intelligent they know what they mean, they are mean to do but some people are really not and they just want to get settled wherever the world uh, demands them to be to do to you know be well uh, okay i would like other people to speak and take part today's topic again i'm beginning to because sadia has just joined us well uh, we are discussing a topic to what you love um any one of you wants to talk about it contribute into the discussion please do it danish Hello assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam how are you danish i am good what about you i'm good thanks um would you like to talk about it yes i would um okay sure uh, please um uh, are you talking about hobbies or uh, the things that are liked by someone uh you like can talk a about hobbies you can talk about hobbies you can talk about work you can talk about anything what we have you know anything. gone through like um, the topic is do what you love there are people they stop you not to do things yes. that you okay. love that may be work that may be your hobby that may relate to you in any way so 
what do you think should you uh, see, embrace see. what 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 are their opinions what they want you to do blindly or you should choose to do something that is uh, you know you like to do see some people are obsessed mm -hmm. to teach like uh, for example you you are teaching mm -hmm. someone uh, freely so okay. um, if you have some guts and glory in your mind you can do anything like mm -hmm. some some are vulnerable to accents like mm -hmm. they are at they are admired by their accents how how they speak why they speak when they speak to whom they speak so it all matters according to the choices of the people mm. but uh, uh, i like to teach in a way like i am a content writer so mm -hmm. um, and i i have firm grip on grammar uh, i mean to say it's in my hands i don't have to uh, revise are you listening to me yes i, I am listening and I'm, i have got a question to you i would ask you yeah please continue yeah so the thing is that i have firm, firm grip, grip on grammar like if someone asks me any question about it i don't need to open google i don't need to open any kind of kind of book i automatically it's in my veins i don't know how but it is so content writing the thing that i do uh, is basically my work uh, it is what it is well danish i've got a question and the question is uh, do you choose to be a content writer or this is you just got it from your friends or from people who said you to be a content writer do you love writing i, I love writing uh, because uh, i i already uh, explained to you that i have firm grip on grammar i mean to say i don't have to look for any book i don't need to go through any google account or nothing else i just it's in my veins man i don't know how but it is in in, in my veins i just uh, people do a lot of things for uh, money for health so i choose this this pave man how did you get writing into your blood into your veins veins right where are you inspired how did you get inspired to write i was inspired by myself you get inspiration I mean, from yourself too, okay from from, from teachers from from, yeah, from, okay. from teachers they taught me in a way that um, the uh, the way i am grown up i admire them a lot All right, Danish. Um, Do you want to continue? You can continue on it. I was waiting that may maybe uh you are gonna ask any question about grammar. No, no, no. I'm not gonna ask you any question about it. We are just covering. We are just you, talking uh, on a topic. Are you here topic. to? I teach online on okay, internet. So uh, I teach on Zoom, by the way. So this is a free class. It is for everyone. My okay. students join, and every other student join, like uh, those who are interested to speak or improve speaking skills. They join us. Okay. Like Mr. Okta is, I don't know, from Indonesia. He has joined uh, after a so really do you, long time. Uh, teach... Do you teach how to speak? No, I do not teach how to speak. I just teach. Uh, English, and I work on four language skills. I do four work languages. on how to speak, how to write, how to um, listen because the there are four language skills. I work on it. I'm I getting help them point. to improve. I teach through ICT. Most of through? the teachers from internet. We go to different websites okay, like okay, I'm getting... British Council. Mm, live worksheet there are lots of so, so well, why are you teaching this it? is not the top, uh, this is not the topic to talk on we have a uh, we have a topic I'm, do what yes, you love yes. we need to come on it okay all right so, so sadia is here can i ask you a question yes. how do you love by the way you do you like teaching too mm, i've been teaching a 
for a decade. So I love it. I like it. Oh. Like your write writings is in your win. So teaching is in my win. I see. I teach That's so good. bad and I, I keep trying my best to teach. Well, I, I keep improving. That's good. Okay, so Sadia, do you have to say anything about do what you love? Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Sadia. I'm a housewife. Mm -hmm. A mother of four kids, mashallah, all are mashallah. grown up now. Mashallah, mashallah. Uh, now, um, uh, I am thinking that uh, I have to do something for my career now. Because okay. I'll be uh, 17 uh, years are uh, uh, gone when I uh, leave my studies. Okay. <laughs> 17 okay, okay, years okay, okay, good, good. Uh, is a big gap. Okay. So uh, that's why my English is also not good. Mm. So I joined this group. Now I want to uh, take admission in some classes like I... I'm thinking about some diploma from different institutes so that I can start my career. All right. Um, that's, that's it. <laughs> Keep on speaking. Keep on speaking because this platform helps students um, to speak. Yes. A... Uh, my, all kids, uh -huh. my all kids are in convent school. But uh, the problem is that, that I'm not speaking in English in home. So they are also, I think, not in fluent in English. Mm -hmm. um, my main, uh, I think, so, uh, jo, kya sakte hai? if the mother uh, is a good speaker in English, they can become <laughs> good speakers also. <laughs> I think, I think. So, and, and this is a lack of, I think, confidence that uh, mm -hmm. I am also facing and my kids are also facing. All right. So they are good in Urdu and Sindhi. We are uh, uh, Sindhi. So mm -hmm. they are good in both languages. But I think they are uh, better than me <laughs> okay. in English. But, right. um, so I want to start uh, the uh, career. So I think I should also work on it. So and uh, I am a full-time uh, housewife, so I have also a limited time. Uh, say, Abibi, I am uh, cooking in kitchen and talking to you all guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so, we have got we have got good uh, we have it. got few um, students. They are housewife and they sit in the kitchen. They make bread and they learn English, like. Uh, she's not here. She would have talked to you and you would have enjoyed her talk. Her name is Munazza. She's from Karachi. She is a housewife of Achha. four kids. I think Isha, am I right? Isha? Yeah. Can you I confirm it? One is Zena, Abdul Rafa and another. No, she has only three kids. Okay, she has got three kids. And the eldest daughter is of, I think, she's in, is, she's in met, uh, maybe metric or she's in first year? She's in first year. She's in um, first year. She's in, yeah. Uh, my, my older son is also in, he's doing O levels. Okay. Uh, I'm also from Karachi and my younger one is in class three. Okay. So both uh, house uh, and the studies are very tough, I think. <laughs> I have decided, but I don't know how I will manage these all things. Okay, you can you can join us if you want. We take class regularly. Yeah, you can get a lot of information. You can take class. I would provide you the detail. How do I teach uh -huh. English on Zoom? So you can just uh, okay, later okay. on ask me about it. Well, uh, we have Hamna Sheikh. She's a yes, student. Yes. Hamna. Hamna, are you there? Hello, Hamna. Uh, Aslam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. How are you? Fine. Okay. Um, are you busy? Uh, no. Okay. Can you give us some time?
Hamna is new, so um, let's just talk to her a little bit. Hamna. Can I contribute? Yes, you can contribute. Sure. We have got only seven minutes left. We, I would have to conclude it also. So yeah, you can take your five minutes. I would add, I would only speak for two minutes. Maybe I can speak for more longer, but <laughs> I would give you chance. Take your time. <laughs> okay. So uh, so I'm I'm, talk, uh, I'm saying that uh, this is not belongs to on for your career and goals field uh, this is belongs to your life actually what uh, what are you what you want to do and uh, what you love to do in your life or daily basis uh, it could be the habits and something else like this but uh, we do sometimes uh, wrong but uh, we love to do that wrong thing and our parents and the society give us that uh, don't do it it is not good for you it is uh, not good for your health uh, it is not good for your career too so at that time we have to realize that thing if uh, now we can see we can see it uh, this thing in teenagers uh, as i was <laughs> also so uh, i used to I used to do uh, whatever I want, but uh, I did not realize that thing. And my parents used to say, uh, used to give me a lot of lecture on different things that don't do it. Uh, it this, this is not good for your studies. This is not good for your career. And uh, whatever, uh, whatever I, uh, I did wrong. So they used to give me some lectures on, uh, on them. But uh, now I, I um I'm grown uh, I'm growing up but not too much I'm uh, I passed my uh, 18 uh, so I'm still in teen age but I now I'm realizing that uh, they what they are uh, what they said in, uh, in at that time that uh, that is true uh, I think true and I guess uh, they uh, say they said it by their experiences and they have a lot of experiences uh, rather than our uh, rather than our life and uh, we have only 18 uh, years old and uh, they have uh, um, they have double age uh, rather than us so they have a lot of experience uh, um, and they give they give you right uh, they give you right decisions they give you right uh, things which you uh, which you sh which you, uh, on which you should uh, work hard and you have to realize the things what what is wrong for you what is the right for you and uh, when you realize the things what is uh, what should be the wrong, what should be us what should uh, we do so at that time you will uh, you will do everything uh, rightly and uh, you realize that what is wrong for you and uh, we should not do everything what uh, is, this is uh, uh, this is mean to say that uh, uh, we should not do everything uh, what we what we love we just uh, uh, choose the what are good for us what uh, what the what the loving things which are which we want to do in our lives which are good for us just do uh, that things not to that things which are wrong for us but still we are loving that so this is my point of view i want to edit this point here so i edit thank you all right, when you you still think you are growing up, but at the age of 18, students are grown up. Yeah, I... And it's fine, you are still growing no, up. No, I'm growing, growing up. up. We, what does it mean by grown up and growing up? Like when you get the maturity and you know what is right and wrong. You yeah. Know what can be harmful, this is what all can about be the beneficial. Maturity. Yeah. You when you yeah. know how, when you know how, when you differentiate between right or wrong, false or right, and uh, good or bad, or halal or haram, mm. laughable or unlawful, and when you yeah, do exactly. not only obey people blindly, when you open your third eye, when you start experiencing or experiencing things and exactly 
utilizing information or learning or we can say executing learning in real life then you get the maturity well like what does it mean by grown up like uh you know something is bad you learned it into the book mm -hmm. and you get mature now you in the real life you are experiencing it when you are experiencing the situation then you are opting a right thing and not a bad thing you're doing something good but sometimes people mm -hmm. at the age of 18 they're not really grown up they're not mature you get complete maturity after 24 after 26 maybe 25 because unless or until you go through bad experiences you do not learn it you do not learn from them so we need to pass after the through, uh, bad experiences then we learn and then we when we uh, had bad result of things that we have been doing then we get to know this really you know affected us well um, Haya has just joined us and let me take a class now Haya how are you yes. where I'm have fine. you been you haven't taken the grammar class and you're here uh, at the last minute sir so, uh, I slept no, you would you like to give me a very I lame excuse? No, sir, it's not a lame excuse. I was just lying on the bed. I and I didn't realize that at which minute I just fell asleep. She said that she is she was lying. She was not sleeping. She was just lying. And she was lying and doing nothing and doing idling is her favorite hobby. <laughs> no, no, I was not idling. I was just trying to take a nap. Trying and to take a nap. Wow! At the, this, at, uh, it's 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 you know dusk time, and I, it's not a dusk time. After a dusk time, she's trying to take a nap. Wow, that's great. Nap no, is always sir, taken in the afternoon. Dusk. Nap is always taken in the afternoon. You are trying to teach me when to take a nap. Wow. It's I'm talking about three p.m. Okay. Three or 